Yeah, all right, what's up, guys? I'm gonna do an update on my low C LMTs. To show you guys some more parts I installed on the grave digger here, I ended up putting the 10 millimeter hex adapters on there. They they extend out 10 millimeter of the green. Also, the axles on here, I got them from China on eBay. They come from China. They, they're really nice. For the uh, C-hubs, when you install the C-hub on there, you're going to have to change out the screw screws that came in the original plastic axles. And you're going to have to get some shorter ones. Or else you'll find they won't tighten on and they'll be loose. So if you guys order any of these parts off eBay from China, make sure you just get the shorter screws. Just go to your local hobby shop. Because once I tighten, when, when I use the old screws from the old plastic, it just, like I said, these were loose and wiggly. Because it wasn't tightening down, they were too long. But other than that, they're great parts. And the axles went on just fine. And again, I made the wheel base on there. It's like an extra 20 millimeters now. Gives it a wider stance. Now this is the one, this is the roller that I bought. I mean, I put a lot of extra goodies on here. Like you'll see in the other videos. Got the 10 millimeter hex adapters on there too to extend the wheelbase. I also just installed the trio sway bars. These things are awesome. And again, I'm running Vitavon axles, the trio transmission, and gear cover. And I'm going back to using the uh, 2020 Raptor edition body. You know, I got the Grave Digger, but you got to have a Bigfoot. So I got the paints to paint this up like the, the 2020 Bigfoot. Another cool thing, guys, is if you buy these this body, the Raptor body, You see, I got a motor down in there. It's, I think it's a J Concepts, just a top blower. And it mounted down in there. But if you notice on the the new Bigfoot, it has a, a motor cover. And that piece of plastic there was just a spare piece that I cut off the shell. I mean, it was down here somewhere. And it also has Ford on it. So once I paint it, you'll be able to see it real good. But I want to make it look scale like the the truck they're running. Yeah, too cool. The low CLMTs are probably some of my favorite RC trucks. I mean, I got a big foot there. But that's a Traxxas Stampede with the J Concepts 3.3s on there. And of course, I got all the aluminum bulkheads, aluminum transmission, hot racing parts. So everything's been upgraded. Truck sure looks pretty cool. Hot racing drive shafts. Everything's been upgraded on it. But all right, next video I'll do, I'm going to end up painting this shell. Like I said, I'm going to use the uh, white, blue, and red testers paint, polycarbonate paint. Yeah,
can see I got a four wheel steering on the grave digger. I used a really strong servo in the rear and it's got some high torque on there because when you upgrade to four wheel steering and you punch it, your back tires want to kind of move around, makes the truck a little swirly. So I put a hot racing heavy duty servo saver with a high torque servo. And for the front, what is that? It's a power hobby brushless servo, high voltage. And this one's got high speed. And again, the hot, hot racing heavy duty servo saver. All right, I'll get you guys a video once I get this one painted up. All right, later.